In the previous video, I started making my first game in Unity. Let me remind you that I have only 21 days, 7 have already passed, so we need to hurry. I have a huge plan what I want to add to the game, so let's go into Unity. Oh god, I don't know how it was possible to make such a terrible game. What idiot did it? Ok, let's try to fix it. I started with adding sounds. At the same time, I was learning how to add sounds to the game because I remind you that I installed Unity 2 months ago and I absolutely don't know how to make games. But, in fact, I know the basics of programming, I know what OOP is, I know how to solve simple problems using C Sharp, so I have good chances to make a cool game. I also decided to redo these terrible animations because it looks... There is no rattle here, so I added some animations for each action. Next I added footstep sounds and now it still looks bad. I also added sounds of the furnace and the campfire. Yes, this is a furnace model. I spent the whole first day adding sounds. By the way, as you already understood, I divided 21 days into 3 videos, which means that in this video I'll show you what I did from 8 to 14 days. And in the next part I'll finish the game and make a release. In the meantime, I have already added a water foundation from which you can build a raft. If you forgot the idea of my game, then let me remind you. First you sail on a raft, collect resources, expand the raft, everything is exactly the same as in raft. Then you arrive on the island, where you got even more sources and prepare to fight with the inhabitants of the island. And today I'm going to do it all. That is procedural generated island, AI, combat, but let's go another. Next I try to make the raft float. The difficulty is that all the buildings of the raft must move with it, as well as the player if he's standing on the raft. Now you can no longer see that grass texture. Next I expanded the ocean and decided to add item spawning. Plastic, wood and barrels will spawn in the water. So from this list I take a random item and spawn it in a random place within these coordinates. It looks very good. I can add absolutely any item to the list, even a golden pickaxe. But something is missing here. Right, I need to add a hook so I can easily mine resources. Then for some time I tried to write a script so that the hook could be thrown. And of course, so that it can pick up any items that come its way, and when the hook is pulled, all those items should be added to my inventory. And in the end it looks very cool. And yes, now the is passing through the island. Ok, there is something I don't like in this game, namely the sky. It's time to fix it and also add a day cycle. Using this tutorial I made a very beautiful skybox. I also added stars because I don't like clouds. So it's time to finally delete this and make an island that will be randomly generated every game. This playlist helped me a lot. Right now it looks a little strange since there is no good shader here. I had to make a shader in a shader graph that paints the island the way I want. But something is missing here. That's better. In the previous part I made trees, stones, ores and now I just need to add them to a special list in my script and they start spawning. I was too lazy to make any clever way to randomly spawn trees and ores so they are randomly generated every time, it doesn't depend on the seed. Here you can choose the seed which will be used to generate noise maps in a special clever way and then the island. The same seed, the same island. At the beginning of each game I generate a random seed, so it's unlikely that you will ever see the same island two times. But trees and ores are generated without considering the seed, which is a little bad, but... Also in the map, in random places, are blueprints, for example an iron axe or a golden pickaxe. Then I added 10,000 grass which for some reason had a bad effect on my FPS, so I had to reduce the amount of grass. So the fifth day I decided to spend on creating combat. The first thing I did was make an iron sword and blender. Next I made 4 different hit animations and made them play randomly every time the attack button was pressed. So that I can test the mechanics I added this. Great. Next I added a golden sword which has 2 times more damage than an iron one. I also made it so that sword crafting only unlocks when you find a blueprint and the blueprints are randomly placed on the island. Then I decided to add bow and arrows. To make nice animations I added a skeleton to the bowstring. 
Using these bones in Unity, I made an animation for drawing the bow. I also changed the FOV so you can aim more accurately. Shooting mechanics are very similar to hook mechanics. At the right time, I spun an iron and pushed it away from the camera. And in the end, it looks really cool. I also added an armor counter so you can see how many arrows you have in your inventory. At the start of this day, I made a model of an island inhabitant. I was too lazy to make face animations, so they will always be evil. Adding in Unity was successful. But something is missing here. Right, AI. Using this tutorial, I made it so that the enemy will chase the player if he is on certain radius. But it looks bad. So it's time to add some animations. Yes, it looks much better now. And now you can even fight him. Ok, I made one more animation, namely the animation for an enemy with a bow. This guy is very dumb, he absolutely doesn't know how to aim. I also added a death screen that appears when your health drops to zero. I spent the last day making armor. Oh god, it looks... I added armor items that I can pick up or craft. Also now there are armor slots. Armor works in such a way that for each piece of armor I added a protection value. With each hit the total protection is calculated. This number is subtracted from 100, which is the percentage of how many damage the player received. Also with each hit the durability of each equipped armor is reduced by 1. And that's the end of the second part of the game devlog. I haven't thought of a name yet. If you like what I do, you can like or comment, but you don't have to. You can watch the first part of making this game if you have nothing else to do.